Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and another storage solution. In this particular case, M.2 SSDs SATA. Uh, a few weeks ago, we took a look at the WD lineup, WD Blue, Green and Black. And today we are going to take a look at these two uh, budget SSDs. Now, starting with the REC data, REC data, uh, as we can see, in terms of speeds, we will get a maximum of 456 megabytes per second on reads and a maximum of 140 megabytes per second on writes. But more important that those numbers, uh, when we take a look at transferring files, files up to 2 gigabytes, the SSD is quite fast, not bad at all for a budget SSD, but files of 4 gigabytes and higher it will drop to roughly 70 megabytes per second while writing on a disk which is not the best scenario when we are using one of these disks to write big files. Now once we use it to read only uh, it will sustain roughly on the 370 megabytes per second uh, while transferring 4 gigabyte files and higher which is not bad. Now moving on to the King DM, this one was actually a good surprise. Uh, we could reach a maximum of 560 megabytes per second on reads and 518 megabytes per second on write. But once again, more important is that here even files of 4 gigabytes or higher will be handled much quicker than we have seen previously, never getting below the 400 megabytes per second mark, which is great for this kind of disk, much faster than the record data disk that we've seen previously, and even faster than the WD Blue that we have seen a few weeks ago. So this is something to have in consideration when we are purchasing a M.2 SSD. Now regarding bigger files like 4 gigabytes or bigger, uh, and using the disk just to read, we will see a steady transfer speed of always above 450 megabytes per second, which was really steady and really fast for this kind of M.2 SATA SSD. Now, I also tested out with a external enclosure, which I got roughly more or less the same speeds. I will leave a link down below for the enclosure that I used and also for the disks that I used. But in terms of conclusion, what I can say is that the record data as a budget SSD, it's not bad, but in terms of writing speeds, it gets a little bit low, 70 megabytes per second when we are using huge files. So that's not good for someone that transfers big files like I do with videos and so on and so forth. On the other hand, the King Demon was a surprise having better values than the WD Blue that we tested um, a few weeks ago, only being surpassed by M.2 SSDs but with PCI and VME uh, instead of SATA, which this is a different class. And this is it, guys. In terms of speeds, not bad at all for the King DM, not so good for the record data. In terms of durability, only time will tell. And feel free to drop a line down below, regardless of how many months have passed after I recorded this video. And that is it. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.